Welcome to Las Vegas Trader YouTube channel and another episode of the weekly analysis video of the financial markets. So let's jump in to the charts and analyze what happened and uh, what might happen this week. Uh, so this is S&P 500, the daily chart. As you can see, we had uh, three days, actually four days because Thursday was a holiday. But the, fut uh, the futures markets were open half a day. So we had a nice move up. On this day right over here, which I believe was a Friday. So this looked, uh, there was a rejection. So I thought we we're going to go lower. But we just kind of moved sideways. And then we just broke above this action and uh, moved higher. For the next three days next three bars or four days actually so um looks like there's gonna be continuation there might be a small pullback retest these tails and then continuation there's no indication of uh, uh moving uh lower um same thing on the weekly chart so we had a pause uh, these two weeks here and then uh, we broke above the tails so it just kind of tells me uh, we're going higher and of course summertime is uh, most of the time bullish uh, and on a monthly chart so like I always said last three weeks or so that this pattern looks very similar to this one here okay um, uh, the only thing is this was a red bar tapping tail and this was a nice green bar so the third bar is forming green um, so but we're only you know one week in to the month so next three weeks um anything can happen really uh but it looks bullish so we shall see uh let's go to nasdaq uh same pretty much same picture same idea um so i thought because this topping tail just rejected this move but uh there was no follow through at all I expected you know down day but so my stop would have been right above this tail and um, I would have gotten uh, uh, would have gotten stopped out if I was day tra uh, swing trading so um, probably moving higher like I said maybe a pullback a little pullback then continuation on a weekly chart same thing but we are a little bit oversold. I mean, overbought. Actually, let me uh, show this. This is a RSI chart. So, so as you can see, we are in the uh, overbought territory. Uh, this is on the weekly chart. So this is the daily right over here. So anything above this uh, dotted line, we're uh, overbought. So like I said, we might see a little pullback and then continuation to the upside. Or just uh, if we take this bar out and we close below it, then we're going, going lower. So, so this is on the weekly chart. We are still in the overbought area. And the monthly, we are right at, we're just breaking above it. So, um, let's move on to uh, Dow Jones. Daily chart is a little bit different than on NASDAQ and the S&P. We are just pretty much chopping. There's up and down. There's no really uh, any... Uh, movement to the upside or down it's just we're like we're frozen in time sort of um but also
how come it's not working here? I kind of see this. Okay. So we're either going to break out or break down. So we still might chop, you know, a few more days or so, or just completely move up or down. So this is on a daily chart. The weekly, uh, so as you can see, we have a double top. Pull back to the upside. We're barely above the 20 day moving average. We didn't clear this red bar above it. So um, I kind of like to, like, like, I kind of like lower prices on Dow Jones. It's having a hard time going higher. I mean, NASDAQ is just driving everything higher. It's, it's insane. And uh, look at the monthly chart. So we try to uh, break above, came down, tried again, not much movement. And um, the smaller these bars get, uh, the better chances of uh, lower prices and this rolling over and go down. Uh, let's go to uh, Russell 2000. Uh, same thing. I mean, last week I said that we're probably going higher, and we did, and then we just came back down. We are same, same spot as last week. So, um, but it looks now we're uh, kind of possibly going down and retest this 200-day moving average on a weekly chart. Same thing. I like the prices lower on uh, on a weekly as well. So we'll probably go down and uh, test this 50-day uh, moving average. And the monthly, yeah, same thing. I like lower prices. So let's go to crude oil. So, um, so I call this move up, this bullish move up. And now, so we're just kind of moving sideways last three days. So because of this resistance. So are we either going to retest these recent highs or come back lower? But I think we're going to go higher. On a weekly chart, um, reaffirms my call for moving higher. Uh, once we break above. This recent high, we're probably going to retest these highs. So this is on the weekly chart. The monthly chart looks very bullish to me. Uh, the 20-day moving average halted uh, lower prices. And we formed this green bar with a bottom tail. And we're going higher. So oil, crude oil going higher. That's um, that's what I like. That's what I see here. Let's go to gold daily chart. So um, we did have a double top. Uh, we came down. There's a lot of resist uh, support around 2300. So we try to go and break this support, but we just erased this red bar and. Uh, we are now above above this big red bar. We are above it. So we broke above, and now we're going to probably retest these highs. On a daily chart, weekly. Um, so this double top, I kind of wanted to see the price hit like 2280 or so and hit this moving average, but we didn't quite get there. So we just we tested this tail here, topping tail, and then uh, we moved back up. And I mentioned last week that this 20-day moving average is going to push it, push the prices up. And uh, look what happened. And on a monthly chart, once we uh, clear above these two tails, we're going to break above and continue higher prices. The bullish move in gold and silver. 
uh, looks almost identical uh, as you can see we broke above this big red bar but now this red bar the top of it uh, was resistance so we came to it and just pulled back a little bit so we must see a small pullback again and then continuation to the upside and on a weekly chart same thing like gold so once we break above 33 and change uh we're going way higher and this is the monthly chart so this is the re resistance levels 31 32 33 so we need to break above powerfully and uh, we're going higher but looks very bullish let's go to uh, bitcoin this is the future side of bitcoin and this is the forex so um so i did call uh, last week that we're going to go lower and we did go lower uh, we broke below this rising 200 day moving average on forex but uh on the future side we came down and we just touched it and of course we have support right over here so that was uh roughly 54,000 that we touched and came back up so uh this is the live forex bitcoin prices so we formed this uh bottoming tail and uh so now we're sitting looks like we're going to go back up uh, or we might just test this 200 rising 200 and then come back down uh let's take a look at the weekly here so uh weekly okay so on weekly so we might come back up a little because the 20 day moving average average is still rising so we have to uh, come back up a little and then pull it back down for it to round round out and come come down unless this week we just completely take out this green bar and we're just going higher but I think we're just going to pull back a little a little higher and then come back down and on the monthly chart yeah I like lower prices on the monthly chart so um, this green bar is pretty big and strong so it makes sense that all these buyers halted uh, lower prices and uh, pushing the prices back up let's take a look at the uh, yeah so on the uh, fu uh, future side so we did come down and retested these uh, wicks here these tails um, so we still have three weeks left in the month so let's see what happens but I like lower prices on uh, Bitcoin let's go to dollar so precious metals went went up this week this past week so dollar went down inverse direction which makes sense so now we're sitting below uh, between the, the 50 and the 200 so I think we're gonna retest this 200 on the daily chart and on the weekly so I mean yeah we might be going lower yeah it looks like we're gonna go lower because we just took out one two three days of work by the bulls right by with one well this is a weekly trust so three weeks of work by the bulls we just took it out in one bar and we're sitting right at 20 day moving average 
so we might continue and hit 104 and change 104 and change would put us right at the 200 day moving average here on a daily chart and the monthly yeah so 104 would be what is 200 day, uh, the 20 day moving average here but like I said we have three weeks left in the month so um, so we'll see what happens and uh, last but not least we have the uh, the almighty uh, bonds so as you remember last week uh, I didn't like this red bar that ruined my uh, prediction for the uh, bond market but uh, so we did have a follow through of one day on Monday I believe and then um, reverse course and uh, move back up so but I think a more clear picture will be on a monthly and a weekly chart so um, I'm still seeing the reverse head and shoulders we just these declining moving averages are uh, pushing prices down so what I would like to see is close above say 95 or even this red bar of $96 uh, so that would put us on a monthly chart right at the uh, 20 day moving average which would be fine because this bar would be nice and green nice big green bar and hopefully close above this 20 day moving average so roughly say $99 so on a weekly chart will put us right over here so three weeks three green bars will get us there okay so that's that's what I see that's what I think is gonna happen uh, you can go back and uh, re-watch my last week's video and uh, see what I said and see how things played out but uh, but that's it for this video um, Please like, share, and subscribe if you've not done so already. Uh, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, and uh, share with anyone and everyone uh, you think might like and benefit from the content on my channel. So that's it for this week. And uh, I will probably be live streaming on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, unless things change but uh, I'm looking to be uh, live streaming on those two days um, unless I'm having some kind of problems or I'm traveling or something but uh, but that's it so take care and we'll see you uh, next week